This is a Raspberry Pi, and the Raspberry Pi is a credit card sized single board computer developed in the UK. And I wanted to see if it could run Minecraft. <laughs> this is my Piper box, and I got this for uh, maybe a holiday, maybe a birthday. I'm not 100% sure. It's a little computer that you build yourself, it's like a little kit, and you can play Minecraft on it once you're done. But this Minecraft is for Raspberry Pi. Brother, ugh. So I want to try to run Lunar Client on it and see if I can get even one kill in Bed Wars or any of that or any game mode. I'm not sure. We'll see how it goes. So this is the Raspberry Pi. This is the third version. It's called the Raspberry Pi 3B. So I'm going to disconnect all of these cables as well as the HDMI and the power. This is basically all we need and we can just... I don't know, throw this away. So here I have the uh, interface for the Raspberry Pi and I've connected my keyboard and this Logitech G Pro wireless to it. As you can see, if I move my mouse here, we're just going to load up Lunar Client. Hopefully it works. Low voltage warning. Uh oh. All right. So it seems as though it's running fine. It took a little bit to load, but it's OK. Also, if you guys want to replicate this for yourself, I'll put the video in the description down below so you can learn how to do this yourself. All right, it's going to be very laggy because, of course, it's a Raspberry Pi and it's overheating right now. I can actually show a video on screen of what it sounds like and looks like. But anyways, here we go. We're just going to launch Lunar Client. We're just going to see how it runs. We're going to optimize it for the best FPS that we possibly can. And let's see if we can even get one kill in the game. <sighs> Always in every single video, something has to go wrong. So this thing doesn't want to work because maybe it's a little bit old. This is again the Raspberry Pi 3B. So guess what I got? Oh yeah, a whole starter kit. So I have a whole starter kit here. I have the actual Raspberry Pi right here. And then also the case to cool it down as well as a power supply because it was actually telling me that the power supply was actually really bad. So I went ahead and got a 27 watt USB-C which is compatible with this Raspberry Pi. And let's go ahead and unbox it. Okay, so this right here is the Raspberry Pi, and it has 8 gigabytes of RAM in it. Uh, it's pretty cool. Uh, it's got HDMI, of course, USB-C, all the cool stuff in it, you know what I'm saying? We're just gonna go ahead and unbox this thing, if I can. It's not really packaged well, what the? What is this packaging? This this thing's gonna fall out and break. It just has the board itself, um, some manuals about the temps, and then just warranty probably, safety and user guide. We don't need any of that stuff. We can just put that away. Okay, so giving it a quick comparison here. Uh, this is the old one. This is the new one. This one has USB-C on it for the main, and then this one just has one micro. It's also got HDMI, which is pretty cool, uh, as well as... Wait, where's the HDMI port? Wait, where's the HDMI? my port yo what where's the hdmi port wait do i have to get no don't tell me i have to get another thing just so i can run hdmi through it bro it's okay whatever we're just gonna apply the case onto it so this is the case just to cool it down oh that's not very satisfying oh it's like a red box Okay, so the main purpose that I bought this for is because I don't want to use my fan to cool this thing down. And this thing has an integrated fan inside of it. So basically, you just, uh, some big, uh, what? How do you install? Is this a little manual, probably? Okay, so it clearly isn't a manual. Emmanuel. It's a little heatsink thingy. Wow. Oh, it's got, it's got feet on the bottom. So you attach those to the bottom. Wow, that's so cool. You can see how enthusiastic I am because there's no fucking HDMI port. All right, so I'm gonna just place these rubber feet on the bottom, I guess. Because that's what you're supposed to do. One rubber feet, two rubber feet, three rubber feet. Oh, oh my God, I messed it up, bro. And four rubber feet now we have this little heatsink block and to be honest i don't know where to put this okay i'm pretty sure we're supposed to place it here or i think you're supposed to place this on here because the fan reaches this and then that goes there okay i'm a genius i 
hope I'm doing it correctly. So basically, we just put this little heatsink block on here. We'll align it properly. Uh, that looks pretty good, I'd say. Yeah, that's pretty nice. Cool. So there's a little thing right here that says fan on it. And I think you have to pull it back, take the cover off. Oh, okay. I took the cover off. Bet. So let's go. And then you just, if I, if I can, bro, if I can just put that in there okay so i've attached the fan the board's already coming out and then you just close it i think right close w would you mind closing please oh we gotta click come on you know you want to close bro why is it so difficult i'm definitely about to break this thing i'm g genuinely going to break it oh i think you put this over first and oh okay that makes a lot more sense all right so now we have our raspberry pi in here there's a little slot for an sd card placed it in this thing doesn't come with any screws for some reason but that's okay uh i'm gonna go ahead and attach the top piece uh, attach each corner first and boom there we go i also have this uh power supply because for some reason it wasn't powering enough energy to the main motherboard so i just bought this power supply that should provide enough power for us so we can use this thing without it overheating too much or not giving us the performance that we really want one eternity later okay so i've finally gotten a usb to micro us yeah that's this is micro so this will finally work with the raspberry pi so i'm gonna go ahead and plug this in uh i also uh installed the uh raspberry pi software on this thing and you can see i've inserted it in there i also added these screws and uh, let's go ahead and boot this up okay so we have 1.8.9 loading currently oh wow that was quick actually wow this is sick so yeah this is 1.8.9 here as you guys can see uh, we're gonna turn up the FOV to 85, which is what I have it as. I'm just gonna go through all of these settings and just change them all the way off. Okay, so now I am in high pixel on a Raspberry Pi. It does look a little bit funky, but uh, also my hand sometimes glitches out. I don't really get why, but you know, it is what it is. We're gonna go ahead and enter a game and see how this goes. Okay, so to be honest, it isn't running too horribly. As you can see, we are are running around 30 fps but of course with the f3 menu open it will lower down the fps to be honest it's running pretty fine for a raspberry pi that's you know a small computer it honestly runs better than my uh, 2020 macbook air now of course using a wireless mouse this will be laggy since there is rgb on this i'm not 100 percent sure that the rgb would matter but just the connectivity is definitely a little bit late, I can feel. Man, I haven't recorded a Bedwars video in so long. This feels so weird. I think also what I want to do after this is try to see how much FPS I can pull out of this thing. Because I know that would be really interesting to see. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and get Green's bed here. I'm going to try to see if I can go for red here. Okay, honestly, I am a bit rusty. And because I also have this Raspberry Pi, which is very laggy, because you can see each time I move, it's a little laggy. You can see on the, the cam. Uh, actually, Green's trying to come from my bed. Isn't a good thing. Let's see if I can kill him. I can't see anything. This sucks. Oh, that's unfortunate. To be honest, expected because the aim and the lag is really bad. Um, as you can see, red and green are actually trying to fight here. I'm not going to intervene with this because I don't want to die here. Let me try to do this as easy as possible. I think red has diamond armor. No, that's actually iron. And I'm actually dead here. Oh, wow. Okay, so it's running pretty well. And basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to optimize it so you guys can see it a little bit better. I'm also going to change the video settings so it's not so large. So it looks normal for you guys. But for me, it looks like, well, this. Um, but we are running a consistent 71 FPS, which isn't laggy at all. And I'm actually quite surprised that it's running this well. As you can see, my mouse actually looks a lot bigger than all these items because it's windowed mode it's also really hard to tell what is what because this bed just looks like a few blocks oh he's actually coming over it's so like not accurate as well that's the issue oh 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 you're trying to get me oh i got him i got him okay 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 watch out watch out oh oh he's alive he's alive 
Oh, I died. So, of course, everything still has to go wrong. So, there's a bunch of footage of me just playing video games without my microphone on. And I was completely oblivious to this, uh, as you can see here. But <laughs> this is the moment where I realized. Bro doesn't give a shit. Oh, my microphone was off the whole time. Oh, that sucks. Okay, so, uh, turns out that my microphone was actually off during the whole recording that I was just speaking through. But basically, I'm really surprised with the performance that I'm getting. Since, uh, to be honest, okay, this guy is just genuinely just AFK. Um, but <clears throat> I'm really surprised with the performance that we're getting with this. Because, look at this, we're getting a consistent 102 FPS of a Raspberry Pi 5. Now, this thing also has 8 gigabytes of RAM, uh, which is way more than the Raspberry Pi 3 that I was trying to run Minecraft on before, which obviously that didn't load at all. It just kept crashing. Okay, so I hope that I can try to at least kill them. I don't have Optifine or anything that I can zoom in with or like optimize my FPS, but so far it is handling pretty well. I'm really happy though with how this turned out. And if you guys also want to see another video of me trying to uh, optimize this thing and turn it into a gaming PC, I know that sounds crazy, but I found this uh, gaming PC case for a Raspberry Pi 5, which is the one that I currently have uh, and I'm running Minecraft on. This guy's just running away. This guy just doesn't want the smoke. But yeah, if you guys want to see me do something like a gaming PC for my Raspberry Pi, I'm just going to let this guy come over here. Oh, he hit me. Oh, Oh my god, his aim is crazy. Oh my god, I'm on two health. Oh! 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 I'm on one heart! No! Oh, it's just his skin everywhere. Alright, we're gonna try one more game of duels since I do want to see if I can get one last kill. Uh, I don't have Optifine, like I said. I keep, I keep like, trying to click the button for Optifine. I just, you know. Alright, I'm getting dogged on as well. Again, never mind. <clears throat> I hope this Skywars match will be fine. Okay, so I do have my, uh, Potion of Invisibility as well. Uh, I'm not too good at Skywars, to be honest, as well as, uh, this thing is really hard to control because, as you can see, my mouse is just way bigger than every single object in this game because it is zoomed in like you guys can see what i'm looking through it's quite hard to see okay so we do have some oak logs uh we also have this person trying to come over but he love it he put lava on himself oh that sucks magician's potion now i'm going to go invisible little loser oh i'm a magician oh dang it all right, yeah, I, I suck at video games, but as well, like, it's so small. You can see how I'm looking at this. It just sucks, you know? Uh, but honestly, performance is quite amazing on this thing. I'm really surprised with how it is. If you guys also want to see me in a future video, look at this PC modification for a Raspberry Pi, uh, the one that I currently have. Uh, that would be really interesting. So if you guys want to see that, let me know in the comment section down below. I hope that you guys did enjoy this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one.